people who ended up with their first crush. What's your story? UK based story. School trip to Longleat. A pretty blonde girl on the back seat of the coach caught my eye. But I was shy when I was 14. It was okay though. I'd caught her eye and her friend told me to sit next to her. We dated on and off through school. I always had a crush on her. Then she wasn't there anymore. I now know that her dad had got a job in Hong Kong. The plan was for her to do O levels and she'd been accepted into the RAF and the England hockey summer camp, so she had things lined up. But her mum decided at Christmas that she wanted to be in Hong Kong too. And by New Year 1985, Dee had emigrated with her plans and exams ruined. When I was 17, I got a job at the local supermarket for spending money. I was behind the cheese counter. I saw her come in. I was mortified, in my white coat and plastic trilby, so I hid in the fridge. I assumed she was back in town, but I didn't see her again. I thought about her often, spoke about her to my best mate, wondering where she'd gone. I went on to my normal life, had kids, etc. She went on to an extreme life, stole money to run away from Hong Kong to England, with just a teddy bear, no money to get from Heathrow to Liverpool because someone stitched her up bouncing a check. Bird the CEO of British Caledonian had seen her on the airplane and was walking past when he realised she was in trouble. She was eye-catchingly beautiful. He got a driver to take her to Liverpool. She went to art college, but a friend died of drugs and felt she might go the same way, and then lived a life of homelessness suffered much violence, suicide attempts etc., and a full-on drug-fueled party lifestyle, although also some great highs, she counted pop stars and artists as friends, ate at top restaurants and stayed in top hotels. When I was 40, it's 2008 now, freshly divorced, very broke, ex was a solicitor, and in a bad way mentally her name popped up on Facebook. We met up. She helped me, I gave her stability we moved in together and have been married for eight years and are very very happy. I often wonder what would have happened if I hadn't hid in the fridge. I dwell on it sometimes. She has largely got over the worst parts of her early life and had quit drugs in 2000 so I didn't see the party girl. But her scars remain and that saddens me when I think about it. <laughs> Trying to sum up a truly long story. First grade. Love at first sight. For me. Not her. She moved schools in seventh grade. I was devastated. Thought I'd never see her again, but it was a small city and I was not a smart boy. Mutual friends and interests saw us become good friends in high school. Good enough for her to bring me to her prom, but not enough to have a romantic date. Through college and after, we'd keep in touch and hang out during holidays back home, but life went on until my second college stint, dating another woman, I was hit with the need to tell her how I felt. Not to get together with her but just to get it off my chest. She knew I liked her but not to what extent. She was having a bad time at school doing her doctorate in geology. For obvious reasons, my relationship with the other woman failed. Damn, this is getting long. That January, we got together to watch movies. I was nervous to tell her, so I kept pouring her wine. Turns out, she was nervous to tell me she had been having feelings for me for a year, so she kept drinking the wine. Her dad. Laying on the floor watching the movies with Bus, was oblivious to everything. We're finally alone. She says something, I blurt out, Wait, are you hitting on me? And we spend our first night as a couple with me holding her hair while she puked. Married in 2006, now have two amazing kids and she doesn't drink. As much. We met our first day of high school in 1996. I sat behind him in third period English. He had gorgeous thick waist-length black curls that my hands just itched to play with. We had a few mutual friends, hung out in the same group during lunch. Most of our classes were coincidentally next door to each other, so we ended up walking from class to class together every day. Those five-minute walks became the highlight of my life that year. Obviously I had the biggest crush on him. I was nowhere near confident enough to tell him in high school or, for that matter, during the following 13 years as we navigated the awkward transition into adulthood. We drifted in and out of each other's lives like best friends do at that age, but we never lost that thread that connected us. After we graduated, we met at a local diner every few months, drank bad coffee and debated Kantian ethics late into the night. We've never quite seen eye to eye on the Germans, still don't. He was my confidant, the only person I could share the deepest parts of my soul with. 
That intense schoolgirl crush faded over time into something that felt a little more like a bottomless pool of affection and respect. Fast forward to 2009. I was 27. I just ended a six-year relationship six weeks earlier. I was emotionally adrift that summer. I certainly wasn't ready to start dating again. I called to wish him a happy birthday. He said if I wasn't doing anything, I should swing by his parents for a slice of cake and champagne. I drove across town to find most of his guy friends helping him move his things into his parents' garage. His fiancée had called off their four-year engagement on his birthday. Later that night, after everyone else had gone home, we laid on his parents' driveway staring up at the stars. I asked him why he just walked away without a fight when she gave him back the ring. He said, because I won't risk losing my window again. This is the first time since high school you've been single for more than five minutes. I love you. I've always loved you. I'll buy you a ring tomorrow if you say yes. I said no. He asked if I'd go out on a date with him. I said no. I wasn't ready. Then he asked if we could go get coffee at the diner. I said yes. As we parted again at sunrise, he kissed my forehead and said, there's no expiration date on that proposal. We started dating three weeks later, moved in together two months after that. Somewhere along the way, I realized, bottomless pool of affection and respect, is the mature way of saying, love of your life. We got married on our fifth anniversary, barefoot in my parents' living room, in a 30-second ceremony officiated by my father. August will be our seventh wedding anniversary and the 25th anniversary of the first walk we took together. And for the record, he still has waist-length curls and I get to play with them anytime I want now. I, currently 25M, have a brother 10 years older than me. When he was in high school, he had a friend named Julie. Julie would come over sometimes to hang with my brother, and I, the annoying little brother, would pester them endlessly. I was only six, but I definitely had a crush on her. I didn't even know what the feelings were or what to do with them. I didn't really think back on it and realize I loved her flirty personality until I was an adult. But man when I did. I found her on Facebook, still very attractive, posting about not having a boyfriend. A-A-A-A-A-N-D-I took my shot, making a little suggestive joke. To my surprise, she matched the sarcasm and started a chat with me. We talked for a while, and I mentioned that if age weren't a thing, I'd totally take her out. She said, well what do you want to do about that? And the rest is history lol. It was a dream. Had a crush on one of my friends in 6th grade, but I got over it. In 8th grade, I developed an even bigger crush on him again, so I wound up telling him I had a crush on him, he said the same, and we started dating. Our two-year anniversary is crawling up on us now, relationship perfectly intact despite the pandemic separating us for a year. Compared to the other commenters, we haven't been together for that long, but it still counts smiley face. Asterisk not exactly answering the question, but thought I'd share since I read the question and I have been thinking about her. Asterisk. We met when we were about 10 years old. We used to sit together in class. We started dating when we were 14, dated briefly. It ended because of me and it involved ignoring her in class. We both grew apart by the end of 10th grade. We both moved to different schools that year. I still liked her very much though. I was 17 when I got the news she died in a car accident, supposedly drunk and with some guy driving who was certainly drunk. She died on the spot due to injuries while the guy survived. I don't really think about her a lot, but she was my first crush and also my first kiss. I hope she's at peace. I dated my first crush around second grade, but we broke up a few months after cuz I thought watching fish hooks was a better way to spend time. High school sweetheart honestly I don't know how this happened. Breakups. Called off engagements. Three wedding dates how did I get here? I'm the crush. We randomly met at a train station and exchanged numbers. The first time she texted me was, fuck you. After I forgot to look at a clock before calling her at like 1 in the morning. I figured I'd missed out but NBD I suck with women. Anyway, she called back like a day later to apologize since she didn't see my name when I'd called and thought it was her ex when she texted. She started hanging out. She started hanging out all the time. Started dating. I wasn't feeling it so much but ego boost, whatevs. I'm not feeling it but she's super sweet. All my friends love her. My family loves her. 
her family loves me. So we never actually end up breaking up. Kinda starts growing on me. We go through a bunch of shit together over five years, living together for some of it, and now feelings are actually properly mutual and we end up getting married. Just had our nine-year wedding anniversary last week. Gonna renew our vows for the 10-year. This is not the path I recommend for most people. In most cases, if you aren't attracted to someone, chances are, you won't become attracted to them later. I'm an exception to this but mainly it was because I was too lazy to break it off at the time. It worked out in our case but it usually doesn't. Knowing what I know now, the only thing I'd change would probably to invest in Amazon and Apple back in the day, which is to say, I wouldn't change anything. It started with her crushing on me and now, we got called, couple's goals, the other day by a friend. I was 16, she was 12. We met at a house party in our small rural hometown. We both hated living in that stupid hick town. We made a pact that we would both leave and see the world together after high school. I would go first and get as much of my college degree done as I could while she finished high school. And that is just what we did. I left for college in a big city and she followed a few years later and moved in with me. That was almost 40 years ago and we've had some great adventures together. We had three kids and raised them to be successful adults. We've been rich and poor several times. We've lived all over the world. And now as we head into old age together, I'm just astonished that I got to share almost my entire life with her. I am planning to retire soon and we just sold our big empty house and moved into a farmhouse. Right outside of a small rural hick town. And we love it. I'm gay. So high school was a pretty confusing time in terms of my sexual tea. I've had girl crushed before but they weren't really, it, you know? When I was confident enough, cause I wasn't really out of the closet yet, I made a Tinder account and chatted with a few boys. Then there was this boy who was pretty fun, we went on a date very impulsive, and I had the best time of my life. It stayed with one date cause I had an internship on the other side of the world for six months. Because of a stupid, joke, we stopped texting and lost all contact but he was on my mind every day and I was really crushing over him. I dated some other guys but he set the bar so high no one could ever reach it. Then one day after 8 months of no contact, he texts me out of nowhere. After some chatting we met each other again and one thing led to another. We're only 6 months together now but it's kinda crazy to think I'm together with my first crush and my first Tinder date. We met in band when I was 10 years old and I was immediately both terrified of and obsessed with her and couldn't quite identify why over the course of middle school. The fear kind of faded I definitely had a crush, but was fairly confident she'd never see me that way and I decided I would just try to be her friend. I definitely made a fool of myself in front of her a few times, but I tried to stay subtle about having a thing for her. At the end of 8th grade, she mentioned offhand that she was interested in someone and I pestered her about who it was until she finally told me that it was me. Once the complete and utter shock wore off, I asked if I could hold her hand. That was 10 years ago and I plan on asking her to marry me later this year. Played together when I was 3 and he was 6 years old since we went to the same daycare. There's a bunch of photos of us sitting together. Then went to high school together when I was an awkward freshman, acne-ridden, nerdy kid on the debate team and he was a senior, gorgeous, charismatic, all-star athlete. I was so in awe and love with him I would always try to get his attention but he could care less. Mind you, we both didn't remember each other from daycare, met again while out for dinner with mutual friends at age 23 and 26. I guess I had blossomed into a woman because he finally took notice. He fell in love with me that night at 33 and 36 were happily married with children. Not my first crush, but the first girl I dated. We were in a ballroom dance company together and when she had her sweet 16 she invited everyone to her birthday party from the ballroom team. You know, everyone except me. She said, that kid is weird and annoying and I don't want him at my party. Her mother asked, how do you know? Maybe you'll even come to like him. Maybe you'll marry him one day. Cue a few weeks later, I'm great friends with her best friend who asks to give me a chance. Reluctantly, she says okay. Find out that her little sister is having a birthday party and I ask her best friend who was planning on going if I can tag along. A situation occurs and her friend can't come. None of her sister's friends can make it. 
I show up to a seven-year-old's birthday party dressed up to have a tea party with her sister and her, and it's only us. I let her do all the cute tea party things and do my best to make the day special. Thank her little sister and her for her time and leave. Apparently I stole her heart when I left and now we have been married seven years, dating for eleven, and have a beautiful family together. And yes, to this day I rub in what her mom said. Maybe you will marry me. Winking face. In second grade, I didn't know anything about anything. This one girl came up to me and asked me, do you like, insert my best friend's name here. So as I thought like meant like as a friend, I said yes. Later that day he came up to me online and said, you like me? Still thinking that it was like as a friend, I said, of course. Why wouldn't I? He said, oh well, I like you too. Wanna be my girlfriend? I thought girlfriend meant a friend that's a girl. I said yes. I was finally told the correct meaning to everything in third grade. We met in high school because our two friend groups kinda merged into one friend group. Started dating about halfway through college. Got married a year after graduation. Still happily married 29 years later. Met at Army Cadets, UK. I was 14 he was 16. Three children and 22 years later we are still together and very much in love. Lots of ups and downs but always there for each other. We met in fifth grade. We always sort of had a crush on each other. Constantly looking over then looking back, playing at recess. Once we went to junior high we went to two different schools. I thought about her for a couple years then saw her on Snapchat. Texted her and we've been together for two years. We met in middle school. Became really good friends. Dated for a week as you can date in middle school. We broke up and dated a few other people. Two weeks into high school I told him to come keep me warm at the high school football game. He's been doing it now for 30 years. Three kids together now. Love every day with him. My first girlfriend. We met in college at 16. And I got friend zoned immediately. Worked my way out of that and we got married at 21. Now in our 30s doing database work together and running a rock climbing gym on the side. Very much in love. Met in 6th grade. Became best friends. Stayed that way throughout our teens. Both ended up dating other people in our 20s. Both of our relationships eventually ended. We're in our 30s now. And will be getting married. To each other. In July. She has a 9 year old daughter that now calls me dad. I couldn't be happier. Thanks for watching. See you later.